is up, you guys? I'll go back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I hope Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are checking out the new 2024 BMW iX, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so today, we are in this one because this is BMW's all-electric SUV. And on paper, this thing is crazy quick as well. And it's got some very unique styling, both on the outside and the inside. So ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing it so there will be a couple different configurations for the 2024 ix first one being the x drive 50 which is the one we are in today starting at eighty seven thousand one hundred dollars and then there is the m60 for one hundred eleven thousand five hundred dollars so as you can imagine with those different configurations there are two different power plants so both power plants are going to be powered by dual electric motors so let me cover the x drive 50 the one that we have today here first 516 horsepower 564 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels zero to 60 time four seconds flat for this one that's plenty quick top speed 124 miles per hour in case you were interested range is going to come in at 307 miles that's actually pretty darn impressive but in terms of charging you can go from 10 percent to 80 percent charge in as little as 35 minutes then but so then there is that other configuration and that one's actually also dual electric motors but it's dual high performance electric motors for the m60 that one puts out 610 horsepower 749 pound feet of torque that's nuts again sent to all four wheels zero to 60 time for that one 3.2 seconds that is super car quick right there top speed 154 miles per hour range on that one slightly less at 296 miles and for this one let me actually give you a different statistic you can actually get 90 miles of range in only 10 minutes of charge so in case you're in a rush and you just need to get home you can get 90 miles in as little as 10 minutes so that's pretty cool but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the iax i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a little my modes button and there's not a switch for it or anything and there's not a button you just simply press down in it kind of like you would a smartphone i guess you could say but essentially that gives you modes like sport efficient and personal there's also expressive and a couple others as well but ultimately adjusting plenty of different things within the ix including throttle response steering sensitivity uh ambient lighting colors uh gauge cluster things like that so plenty of adjustments can be had with that one but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find the straightaway let's put the acceleration on this thing to the test keep in mind we got the 50 so 0 to 60 should approximately be four seconds flat which is plenty quick so again let's put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get the ix here up to speed all right from a standstill in three two one go oh my gosh whoa <laughs> Screw the M60, man. This 50 is plenty. Holy cow, that instant torque was ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it almost broke my neck. That was nuts. I love that. Go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> and did you guys hear that? It sounds like a freaking fighter jet. That's probably that loudest fighter jet kind of noise that I've heard in driving in electric cars. I think uh, the Ford Mustang Mach-E had a pretty good noise to it too, but this is better. That was... That was nuts. That acceleration, like the instant torque with electric cars, you can't beat it, man. That is insane. Ugh, I love this thing. <laughs> Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So, of course, you will find high performance ventilated disc brakes coming standard on the iX. In terms of that 60 zero stopping distance, it actually comes in at a pretty respectable 120 feet. That's pretty much on par for the course. Like, there's nothing wrong with that number whatsoever. There's also one pedal drive. Um, because this is an electric vehicle, so that's to be expected. But a lot of electric vehicles don't offer it. Um, you don't have to use it that way, but it is available. So essentially, when you let off the gas, it's kind of just going to automatically bring this thing to a stop for you. I actually don't have it on right now, but I do love that it is available. That is pretty darn cool. But then, touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent five link rear axle, lift related dampers as well. Also, there is an adjustable air suspension that comes standard on the M60. It's optional on the X-Drive 50. 
and rear wheel steering, something I first saw on the S-Class, I believe. That comes standard on the M60 as well, also optional on the X-Drive 50, so that is pretty darn cool. In terms of ride quality, it's actually been great. I've had no issues whatsoever in my short little test drive here today. Ride quality is 100% on point, as expected in a vehicle like this. As far as steering feel goes, it's okay. It's not as heavy of a feel as like a Model Y, but it's still definitely weighted on the heavier side of things, heavier than most SUVs, like traditional SUVs, not electric SUVs that you would traditionally test out, but not as heavy as the Model Y, I will say that. But I do love the hexagonal steering wheel though. I think that is so stinking cool. And I'll touch on more of the steering wheel a little bit later in the video, but I do love that. And the grips, the 10 to two grips are massive. So definitely giving the driver more confidence. Well, at least myself, just because I like thicker grips on steering wheels. But anyways, then touching on cabin noise, since this is an electric vehicle, of course, it's super quiet in here. So always a big fan of that. And touching on visibility, I will say it's a little bit narrower of a view looking on my rear view mirror, uh, just because of the shape of this thing. But having said that, it's not bad. I can see fine out the back. Rain Sensi windshield wipers, of course, do come standard on this thing as well. So whenever the IX detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. And lastly, in terms of forward visibility, I'm looking at a head-up display right now, and that is gonna adjust as well, depending upon the drive mode that you put it in, the kind of loadout, it completely changes the look. But that is also gonna give you your speed, speed limit, and safety features projected on your windshield better assisting with forward visibility yet again. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 BMW iX. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 BMW iX finished in Phytonic Blue Metallic. Very interesting color name, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter W, indicating that the IX is actually built and assembled in Germany. Love it. Anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Let me start with the most unique feature of the front end here. Self-healing kidney front grill. This is pretty cool, and this is due to a vacuum coating. Uh, it can basically heal itself within 24 hours at room temperature if there's like a rock chip or something. So uh, minor rock chips, of course. So that's kind of interesting. I like that. It's different, but anyways. Aluminum space frame with Carmen Core technology as well. BMW has done that with uh, some of their other vehicles as well. To the sides there, you guys see there's massive air curtains in the corners, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So love that as well. In terms of exterior finishes go, there's essentially three different kind of configurations. You can go with the uh, shadow line configuration where it's going to give you a bunch of gloss black accents like we have. You can go with the blue package where it's going to kind of give you like a BMW color accents. You see the BMW colors on the logo kind of like that and then there is the sport package which really completely changes the look of the front fascia uh, as well as some other exterior elements too but so it's all going to give you different looks uh, and again there's three different configurations you can go with when it comes to the exterior basically anyways to the sides led headlights with led daytime running lights do come standard of course get the automatic feature with them meaning when it starts to get dark at night the headlights will turn on automatically for you there also automatic high beam so when you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there and there's an available option called laser light led headlights which essentially is the brightest illumination allowed by law so if you really want it extra illumination at night they are available for an additional one thousand dollars if you wanted to go that route but very good looking front end as always. BMW always does a good job with their designs, but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the iX, gloss black window surrounds will come standard. Rear privacy glass also coming standard, of course. You got the floating roof line on the C-pillar in the back there, kind of the gloss black trim uh, differentiating the top of the roof from the rest of the body and a cool iX logo within that uh, C-pillar there too. That looks pretty darn good. But anyways, flush door handles, you guys can see. Let me actually show you how they work. There's actually a rubberized button just up top here so you just kind of push in and that's how they're going to open up for you then then taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals and of course at this price range they are power folding then as well then take a look down at the wheel setup 20 inch arrow wheels are going to come standard that's what you guys are currently looking at but there are 20 inch 21 inch and 22 inch designs available so you can really personalize this thing and make it your own so that's pretty darn cool as well and again with the side skirts you guys see that uh gloss black trim again that's going to differ depending 
dependent upon which one of those three different configurations for the exterior that you go with. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, you guys will notice up top, there is no shark fin antenna or anything like that. Mercedes has also been doing that lately, a much more uh, kind of aerodynamically efficient roof line. So I like that. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Of course, you also have that rear window wiper. I love these LED taillights. It's just like one giant LED light bar in each side. It looks so dang good. And of course, since this is an electric vehicle, there is no exhaust underneath. You kind of have a little bit of a matte black diffuser though. That looks pretty darn good. And of course, LED license plate lighting as well, which is pretty cool. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the back. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the interior of this one. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the iX, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is gonna be a power tailgate that does come standard. There's a button on the key fob. There's also a rubberized button on the tailgate itself as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 35.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fall down, bumping that up to 77.9 cubic feet. That's actually a decent amount. And there were actually buttons in that cargo area to go ahead and fold those rear seats down so that it was pretty darn convenient there's an elastic strap back there for holding things in place there's led cargo lining i liked that as well 12 volt power outlet and uh i like the kind of carpeting that's used back there as well and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you are going to find a uh, good bit of in-floor storage actually as well so big fan of that but then make our way up to the rear leg room that comes in at 38.9 inches for reference i'm an even six feet tall so how much space i have back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders of course there's rear ventilation there's some rear charging ports as well but i will say i wouldn't have minded seeing some rear window sun shades but maybe that's just me personally but then make your way up to the front seats power adjustable heated front seats do come standard a sense to tech upholstery is going to come standard but there's a couple different seating configurations on top of that there's a micro fiber slash wool blend that goes for five hundred dollars if you wanted that and then there's perforated leather of course that is available for thirty five hundred dollars if you wanted that but ventilated front seats go for five hundred dollars and then multifunctional front seats go for sixteen hundred dollars overall seat comfort was all right not the very most comfortable seating i've ever tested but i do like that it's all a one-piece seat i think that's pretty darn cool but anyways if there was a little more adjustable on the power lumbar portion of it or if there was more vertical seams running through it it may be a little more comfortable but anyways it'll get the job done but now one of my favorite parts of this entire vehicle is the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable by the way as well i liked that uh, it is heated but it is a hexagonal steering wheel so absolutely no issues with driving a hexagonal steering wheel it feels just like a regular steering wheel it's something you get used to very quickly actually so i actually was a big fan of this steering wheel the 10 2 grips are massive as well which again is absolutely amazing. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup and let me start by showing you guys the key. You got your BMW logo on the one side, which by the way is your lock button. And then the rest of your rear buttons are located on the side of the key, including that power lift gate button and the unlock button as well. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that engine start button located just in front of the shifter there. And so once started up, I love the tech on BMW lately. It is a curved 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and that connects with the infotainment screen, which we'll get to in a second here. But the gauges look absolutely amazing. And again, they do adjust depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. It's gonna give you different colors, really a completely different loadout depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. So I absolutely love that. And that adjusts with the head up display, like I was saying earlier, but gives you your outside temperature. It gives you how much range you have left as well. It gives you how much battery life you have left as well so it's saying 93 percent for us right now and 275 miles remaining so i like seeing that you got your uh, speed limit recognition up there as well telling you the speed limit of any given road so pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital gauges and because they're digital again it's completely customizable you can always change them but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality you're going to find a panoramic eclipsing sky lounge roof that is pretty darn cool. I like it. It looks very relaxing up there. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found just below the rear view mirror there, which by the way is frameless. So it's a very cool design as well. Four zone climate control. So both driver, passenger and two rear passengers can set their own temperatures there. Wireless phone charger, of course, and multicolor ambient lighting. I liked that. Now I do wish the ambient lighting was located a little more places and a little more uh, vibrant in more places, but for what it is, it looks perfectly fine i just uh 
I like it really obnoxious personally. <laughs> but overall, one of the coolest things about the interior quality of the iX is there is no kind of like center, uh, kind of median kind of blocking off the driver and the passenger so that gives you a lot more space up there for uh to put your purse or in my case uh, a tripod and a slider so i liked that extra space there for sure and again just in front of the wireless phone charger you have a couple cup holders 12 volt power outlet a couple uh charging ports as well you do have actually a decent amount of space within that center armrest and in terms of the glove box there's a little bit of space but the coolest thing about the glove box is the button to actually open it is not actually located on the glove box itself it's it's kind of hidden and camouflaged into just underneath that right air vent there so you just press that and it's going to automatically open up for you so that's kind of cool i like that but overall interior quality is perfectly fine it definitely didn't have any issues there but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen again it's a curved 14.9 inch color touchscreen display it's a pretty large screen there it's going to be voice activated or it is touchscreen and there is a circular dial and buttons located just to the right of the shifter as well so plenty of different ways to control what is up there you got bluetooth and audio streaming android auto apple carplay of course a factory navigation system you can adjust your ambient lighting settings up there your climate control settings included the heated steering wheel button as well and of course your radio information as expected and so when it comes to the sound systems there are a few of them actually 12 speakers and 205 watts is what comes standard but there is a harman kardon surround sound system that we have with us here today you can get that either with the less expensive convenience package which i think is like 2000 if i remember correctly or the premium package which i think is 3500 i'm just guessing on this i'm pretty sure i'm close though but so you can get that two different ways or there is also a standalone bowers and wilkins surround sound system that goes for 3400 if you would prefer that but having said that we do have the harman kardon with us here today like i said so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> All right, couple of things with this sound system. One, it's incredible. I absolutely love it. Two, there's got to be a subwoofer within this seat, and maybe that's not why they're the most comfortable seats. But uh, I will say this: you could feel the bass coming into your back. There's got to be some kind of a speaker within this seat. That was pretty darn good. The bass is absolutely amazing. So 100% love that. And another thing I didn't mention yet is like a lot of other BMWs actually these days is this thing comes with gesture control, which I love. So what does that mean? Watch my finger. Essentially, if you wanted to turn up or down the radio and there's a couple other things you could do as well, but turn it into clockwise motion to turn it up or turn it counterclockwise to turn it down. Watch this. See? So yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you're driving or something, you just don't want to even think about it, you just go like this. All right, turn that up a little too loud there, but I love that feature. I always like to mention that. But of course, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the iX in reverse, you will find a extremely high definition rear view camera coming standard, but also that 360 degree monitor to the right, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so without saying all the boring stuff this time, let me just say there is a ton of advanced safety that comes standard on the iX, like acoustic pedestrian protection, since this is an electric vehicle, that means it's just going to make a noise when you're like in reverse or something. So uh, people know that you're actually driving driving the vehicle and they don't get run over, they know to move. Front and rear parking sensors, frontal collision warning, a blind spot detection, uh, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, like I was mentioning to you guys. So there is quite a bit of advanced safety, of course. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the iX, this is a crazy fast acceleration. And I know zero to 60 in four seconds doesn't seem like a heck of a lot, but let me tell you guys, I, I've given this scenario before. I had a Ford Mustang GT. It was a little bit modified, but not really. But on paper, it did zero to 60 in 3.9. Of course, that's gonna be on the drag strip because all that power is being sent to the rear wheels and it's not all wheel drive, yada, yada, yada. But on the street, because it could record your zero to 60 time, the very fastest time I ever got was 4.7 seconds. And that's due in part because one, it wasn't all wheel drive, but also you don't have that instant torque of an electric vehicle. So with the iX, because because it has so much torque and because it's an electric vehicle you get all of that power from the very second you touch the gas so it is an absolutely incredible acceleration I always say about electric vehicles it feels so much faster than what the numbers really say that it can do so 
drive it, you will see exactly what I mean. In my personal opinion, you don't need the M60 because this thing is ridiculously quick. And quite honestly, you don't need anything quicker than this. But anyways, one pedal drive is great as well. It's always nice being able to save on the brakes and the brake pads because you have an electric vehicle. So always a big fan of that. The interior design is absolutely amazing on this thing. I love the hexagonal steering wheel specifically. The tech is great as well. The sound system is great. So everything on the interior, the ambient lighting, I just absolutely love it also a very nice range on this as well so over 300 miles right now for electric vehicles that's really where it's at if you can get over 300 miles within a range you're good absolutely no issues there as far as room for improvement goes really the only thing i can think of is that i can't afford it because it's kind of expensive but honestly it's kind of on par for the course because if this is comparing to the tesla model x I believe that starts right around ninety-eight thousand dollars. so this is actually a little less than that so I don't know. I think it's priced perfectly fine, honestly. But let me know what you guys think of the IX in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Stay gold.